All right, I'm going to show you some easy ways to mount bromeliads inside of a vivarium. One of the easiest methods is getting a bromeliad that has a stolon. This is the stolon that, um, that shoots off from the mother, mother plant and grows the bromeliad. These right here you can just shove into the foam. You can put them on the underside of branches, like all the way to the end, and wrap some wire around the branch put you some sphagnum moss around there and the bromeliad will root to the branch um, you can drill a hole in the side of a piece of wood and um, put that in the hole that's another good way but you want to make sure you trim your stalin to where this is sitting up against a piece of wood I, I've tried to just like like this one right here was growing just the tip stuck into a piece of wood Eventually it just fell out, but I'm sure if you try it, if you get the hole right, it'll be better. All right, um, so I got these little floral pins. I think at Walmart. I forget where. It's not good to use metallics in vivariums because you don't want them leaching. But if you don't have any inhabitants and stuff like that, then um, it should be okay for the time being. But what you do is you put some sphagnum moss around the base. This is mostly for if you do not have a Stalin on there. As you can see, it fits around there really good. Put some sphagnum around there, pin it to the background, and it should hold it. One of the most common methods is the toothpick, toothpick method. Though a lot of people use double-sided toothpicks, I find this to be a huge hazard because the animals can be hopping around like some frogs could be hopping around next thing I know they hop their eyes straight into this spike and they're blind so I would highly advise getting some cutters these are some flush cutters and just clipping the <laughs> well I don't think I'm let's see One second while I retrieve that toothpick. Alright, so the, the end is clipped off and now it's pretty much safe. I would suggest doing that at all times. But what I get, I get these little bamboo toothpicks. They've got some knurling on there that makes it really easy to hang on to and shove into the background. And not only that, they're rounded off pretty good. No hazard, poses no hazard to your animals. Alright, so one second while I get this um, set up, I'm going to show you how to pin it to a foam background. Alright, so here I pinned it to my paludarium. I'm not going to leave it in here. I'm going to take it back out because, of course, it's hanging out of the side. But anyways, you put one toothpick at an angle that way and another toothpick at an angle that way. And it supports the bromeliad really, really well. I don't know if I have any... Back here, I have some bromeliads where... Um, I've drilled holes into the cork bark and put the Stalins in there. But that's the best way. If you're getting bromeliads for someone, ask them to leave the Stalin on the bromeliad. Alright, I have some good examples here of ones that did not come with Stalins. Actually, yeah, I think that this one came with a tiny one. It was a real pain to get this one um, in there. But as you can see now, I mean, the... It's just going crazy. The roots are everywhere. Here's another one. The roots are just going crazy. There's a little ventricum ventricum or something. I can't hold my was up. Back here, this one had a stalin. That one um didn't really have a stalin. I had some toothpicks on it, but once the plant um, roots, you just pull the toothpicks out, like right here. I've got some margravias and stuff. And now that they're rooting, I can remove the toothpicks. This one right here hasn't really rooted to the background yet. 
so I'm going to leave it. So this is the tank that this bromeliad came out of. It had actually fallen down on the floor. I'm going to try to remount it. My crusty gecko here. So as you can see, I have a hole drilled in this piece of wood in the back. So with that hole drilled there, you just shove the stalin in there, and it should stay like so. All right, well, that's um, how you um, mount some bromeliads to your backgrounds. There's um, other ways you can um, silicone them to wood. I've seen people do that. But if you have any other methods, share them in the comments. All right, have a good one. Later, folks.